Do you have the capacity to share other people's loads? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. मैं मैं पूरन पोली बना रही हूं तेरे भाई की फेवरेट तेरे रूम की क्या हालत बना रखी है इसने ना बस पूछ मत हाँ तो तू बता रही हूं सुबह सुबह कैसे फोन किया ऑफिस नहीं गई क्या जॉब छोड़ दिया मतलब अरे ऐसे कैसे कितनी तरक्की हुई थी तुम्हारी ये हम भी कितना प्राउड फील कर रहे थे अचानक ये जॉब छोड़ना रियो कैसे क्यों जॉब छोड़ रही है क्यों पर बेटा शादी के बाद घर के काम बढ़ जाते हैं लेकिन तू अकेले थोड़ी है आकाश भी तो है तुम्हारे साथ वो घर के काम में तुम्हारी हेल्प कर सकता है है ना हरे उसे घर का काम नहीं आता मतलब ऐसे कैसे नहीं आता नहीं आता होगा गलती हमारी है बेटियों को पैरों पे खड़ा होना सिखाते हैं लेकिन बेटों को हाथ बटाना नहीं सिखाते तो और एक बार सोच ले मैं रात को फोन करती हूं क्या हुआ मां क्या हुआ मां गलती हो गई सुधार रही हूं इन टू दिस फर्स्ट रीडिंग जोसेफ प्रोफेसाई दट इसराइल विल एंटर अ न्यू इरा with the descendant of king david ascending the throne as true king from yesterday's gospel genealogy joseph is part of a long list of descendants today's gospel reading shows us that indeed jesus will come from the line of david through joseph who will name him as such which in the hebrew joshua had the meaning of yahweh saves yes jesus will save his people from their sin we marvel at joseph for the qualities he possesses A devout Jew who follows the Mosaic law, he should have broken his engagement with Mary upon learning that she was pregnant. If you look up the 613 commandments of Moses, law 63, 69, and 74 on marriage, family, and divorce were violated and would have resulted in Joseph shaming Mary and abandoning her, but he did not. Joseph was a good man. He shared the load of Mary's burden so that Jesus might be brought into this world. He showed exemplary self-control and forbearance. For many men, the situation he was in would be ego deflating, and the dilemma of caring for somebody not of one seed would have troubled many, but not Joseph. But being a man of faith, Joseph heeded the angel and took on Mary as his wife. Fear was also prevalent among the cast of characters in that first Christmas. Joseph was going against the law. He and Mary were on the run from Herod. They were homeless. They had good reason to fear, but being a man of God, Joseph trusted God in sharing the load of Mary, literally and figuratively. We too must trust God. As we celebrate this Christmas, we can have an attitude of fear and trepidation for the uncertainty brought about by this pandemic. We cannot understand perhaps why we may have lost our job at a time when we and our family needed it most. 
we may be wondering why we may have lost a loved one to COVID-19 and no one, maybe even us, was there beside to console our dead and us. Many questions may come into our minds about the situation we are in, but for sure, our only recourse is to trust and rely on God. Christmas is a season of establishing hope in our hearts, but it requires that we trust God's plan, even if it is quite vague and blurry for us at the outset. We must continue to listen to Him, and we can only do that by also establishing a time to pray and reflect on our relationship with Him. That is why it's called Christmas. In Spanish, mas means more. Let's have more of Christ this Christmas so that we can truly learn to trust Him throughout our lives and especially this coming new year. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, make me feel and experience Jesus more at this time of the year. Be in my heart, my home, my family, and in my life. Lift me up so that I may also be able to share in the burdens of others and live out in the process your call to holiness. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.